Hi, I'm Jessica Johnson. I am the managing editor of Power Equipment Trade Magazine. We just wrapped up our first day of GIE 2021 here in Louisville, Kentucky. Always a popular day. Wednesday is dedicated to dealers in the morning. Obviously, we had tech training put on by EETC that was well attended, popular way to refresh and pick up some new tips and tricks. Also, live um, Power Equipment Trade, as always, sponsored the streaming of the Bob Clements education sessions. If you miss those, uh, walk on the show floor or you didn't join us here in Kentucky, you can view those on Pet's YouTube channel. They are up now and they will live up there forever. So make sure you grab those nuggets of information. The big news out of the show for 2022 under the single banner of OPI ownership, GIE Plus Expo will rebrand as Equip Expo. It will be here again in Louisville, Kentucky under the name Equip. They haven't released a lot of information, so I'm sure we'll learn more as it comes, but they did tease that country singer Trace Adkins, I think every country fan knows who that is, he will be the headliner for the 4th Street Live concert series that the show has always put on for its attendees. That is a free perk. Of course, no GIE is complete without lots and lots of product information. Some big things happening out of our big three manufacturers today. Uh, first up, Echo discussed their big 50th anniversary. In celebration of that, they gave away a limited edition blower right there on the show floor and announced a couple different opportunities for giveaways of this new blower. Of course, they're also showcasing their most powerful blower yet, um, a backpack model. Steel rolled out 12, a whopping 12 new products, of which over eight are made here in America at their Virginia Beach location. Uh, they announced a battery-powered saw that is capable of log bucking, and it has what they called impressive power that you would expect from steel with no emissions. To be determined on what the public thinks of that once it rolls out in 2022. Briggs & Stratton, of course, was also showcasing their Vanguard engine line, uh, Snapper, Ferris, Simplicity, and Billy Goat Whole Goods as well. We heard from their new leader, Steve Andrews, and he told me, new products are the lifeblood of our company. I love that idea because not only are new products the lifeblood of the Briggs & Stratton brand, but I do firmly believe that life that new products are the lifeblood of this industry as well. I can't wait to see what we have at a full nine to five tomorrow with the show floor being open, outdoor demo being open, and then of course, a full day of education sessions that will once again be live streamed by Power Equipment Trade. This is industry's biggest family reunion and 2021 has not disappointed us so far yet. We'll see you again tomorrow.